Yeah, this is a special podcast. This is... Um, oh, Dan doesn't mind me doing this. Dan Evans does the reggae show. He had his uh, one-year anniversary show just recently. And he phoned me up, so I had a bit of a chat with him. But not only that, I mean, <laughs> the star of the show was Brian Travers from UB40. So that's what this is about. It's uh, me phoning into the, sh- the show and then uh, and then the amazing interview with Brian, a legend, Sit back, relax, enjoy it. Dan does a show every Thursday night on the station, uh, 6 p.m. UK time, repeated on a Friday at 9 a.m. And all our shows go on to Mixcloud as well. So um, check it out. Anyway, Dan, keep them coming, baby. Here he is. Let's see. Let's see how it goes. If you've listened to uh, the show on a, on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday mornings, Kirk does the business show. Is he there? Hello? Hiya, mate. Hello, mate. You all right? I'm all right, mate. I'm all right. I was just listening to a, a banging reggae show and you disturbed me. Oh, sorry, mate. Sorry, mate. You know, times are tough, man. We've got to get you on the show. We need special people <laughs> on the show for the anniversary, mate. So uh, you're top of the list, obviously. Thanks very much, mate. I really appreciate it. And I'm sharing the bill with a UB40 legend. How, how cool is that, It man? is very cool. Mr. Brian Travers, no less. Legend. UB40 legend. It's cool, isn't it? Well, you're lighting the planet up, and you're lighting the UK. Up. You've got from Islington right up the right up the country, Birmingham, uh, everywhere is, is tuning tonight. Saudi, Canada, USA, Germany, amazing, mate. And oh, cool. Um, I love all the shows. All the, I've said it loads of times. The presenters are all um, experts in their own field, and they bring stuff, and I go, "Wow, that's amazing." How do they know that? But you know, and I think everyone does know that reggae is one of me. It's just it's dear to my heart, and it kept me company and it's kept me through some good times and some really dark times, especially the band UB40 as well. Nice and one. the fact that you do the show that you produce is phenomenal. And I love it every week. I listen to it on the repeat as well. And uh, thanks Jeez, for doing man. the shows you do, man. And the input you put in, it's been amazing. It really has. It has been cool, man. And it's cool to have uh, someone who's so into reggae as me as well as part of the station. So uh, pretty cool. And you're a big UB40 fan, right? So you're looking forward to the interview later. Oh, mate, I can't wait. It's, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm jealous and not jealous because I'm jealous because you're doing it. But not only that, but I'm so choked because it's on our station. On our station, it's like yeah. brilliant. Do you know what I mean? And I'm so pleased. And uh, yeah, the, the, I don't think bands realise the impact they have on people's lives with the music. And that's why I adore music. And I can, st- I can still listen to tracks like King. And it takes me back to the first time I heard it back in the day. I saw it at Birmingham uh, City Ground in the 80s. And I saw them in she- at Sheffield in the uh, I don't, 90s, 2000s, what have you. Amazing, amazing band. Yeah, so, yeah, really so, I, I, just love, I just love music. And I love what you do, the diversity you bring. Um, it's just wonderful, mate. It's wonderful. Cheers, and man. the first of many years. Yeah, well, yeah, hopefully, yeah. And we'll just keep getting the guys, keep getting the stars on the show, all the legends. And uh, it's really kind of them all to come on the show, in it? So, uh, you know, lots of love to them. But, uh, yeah, man, we've got a tune in for you later as well, so stick around. And uh, thanks for Excellent. your support on the show, man. Mate, no, it's t- no thank you, because the, 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 the station would be nothing without you and the rest of the guys for what they do. And, you know, it's, it was a concept, an idea, a dream. It's and you're right. It's a family. It's a we've we've not just developed a station. We've developed a family and a and a, and a culture that I am immensely proud of. And uh, I'm so glad you're part of the family. So it's, it's bang amazing. on, mate. Bang on. We are. It's a team effort all the time, and uh, we love the other presenters and I love all the show. So thanks for everything, mate. I'll crack on now I, and stay tuned. Yeah, yeah. Just hey, just a just a quick one yeah. because I know you're like a bit of a wallflower. People, you need to go and check out Danny McMahon's song. <laughs> when I see you, which is written by this guy we're talking to now, oh, it, won, so. it won the country UK Country Single of the Year award, and that is absolutely amazing. Cheers, You've man. had an amazing year. So anyway, I'll let you get back to the music because you don't want to listen to me. Well, exactly. <laughs> and uh, reggae mix is well with country. If anyone's going, what country? It has happened in the past by many artists. <laughs> just saying, just saying, just saying. Yeah, let's crack on. See, cheers, Kirk, man. I'll talk to you later. Yeah. See you later, mate. Cheers, bye. mate. Bye, bye, bye. Look at him, bless him, throwing that one in for me. Very kind of him, very kind. Anyway, let's get on with the music, shall we? Cheers, Kirk. How about that, eh? How about that? So I've given you a bit of both there, right? I've given you the very earliest stuff. 
25% off the uh, first album from UB40 signing off. And then I've given you the very recent, most up-to-date, freshest stuff you can get. And don't it sound wonderful? Don't it sound absolutely brilliant? Well, anyway, I've got Brian Travers from UB40. Legend, saxophonist, artist, songwriter, and all-round nice guy, as you're going to find out. He's on the phone now, so bear with, and I'm going to get you on, get him on, and it's going to be absolutely wonderful. So stand by, cooler. Brian, are you with me, mate? Perfectly. Lovely. You there, mate? We got you, yeah? Got me? Yeah, got you. I think that's going to be the way to record it, because I can't understand what you were saying before. <laughs> right, well, no, you're live, just mate. No, it's breaking up on us. <laughs> well, I've got you now. You're live on the radio with us. Thank you ever so much for being with us, mate. It's an honour. Are you serious? The privilege is all mine, Daniel. Hold on. The opportunity to talk to people listening to the radio which is the soul of music. Listen, all you listeners, go put the kettle on, make a cup of tea, and come back and sit with me and Dan, and we're going to have a great chat. Gather around the radio like in the old days, all right? And we're going to talk about music and everything. And uh, how you doing, Dan? I'm good, mate. I'm all the better for talking to you. I've been buying your music all my life, mate. Uh, Thank you, my brother. And I'm a Midlander as well, like yourself. So I've born and raised on your music, and uh, it's an honour and a privilege, mate. I'm buzzing. But uh, I'm I'm very happy. I'm very happy. How are you doing, mate? I'm all right. It's funny you say that. You know, I've always been very proud to be a musician. You know, because music is led by freedom of choice. It's the most abstract of all the arts. You can't see it. You can't touch it. But when it touches us, man, we fall in love. Yes. We 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 feel better than we are. We, we it makes us lighter than air. It makes us dance. But music's never hurt anybody. If you no. don't like it, all you have to do is. Turn it off. Yeah, that's absolutely Change right. Change your channel that's and tune into another radio station where you do like the music. It's never hurt anybody. It's democratic. It's real. And I've been always been proud to be a musician, and I've always loved radio and anyone associated with music. It's fantastic. It is. It is. And it's I've great. been looking forward to this interview for a week, Daniel. Honestly, oh, man, mate, you're a gentleman. And it's when you do find a genre as well that you're into, like reggae music. It's even more. It touches you even more, doesn't it? Because oh, it even feels, more. Well, so then you good. can specialise. I mean, reggae music has taken me around the world, not only around the world. I lived in Jamaica for seven years, on the north coast, in Boscobel, Arakabessa. I live next mm-hmm. door to uh, Goldeneye, where Ian Fleming wrote the James Bond books. But now Chris Blackwell of Island Records has got the place. He's had it for years. Wow. And it's just music, the Spanish co- north coast of Jamaica. I lived there for seven years, and reggae, that tiny island of Jamaica, has affected music the whole world over. They haven't done it with bullets and bombs. Hey, Jamaica did it with music, and with love, and with good vibes, and that carried me off as a kid. In the days of, like, I don't know, the Upsetters, you know, Sound Dimension, Tommy McCook, you know, Baba Brooks Band, Val Bennett, these are old names, Don Drummond. The Jamaicans, remember Ba Ba Boom? Yeah, ba Ba yeah, Boom, yeah, yeah. Boom. Yes, man. That's what got me as a kid in Borsalif. We go to a, a youth club, you know, after school, we had youth clubs, that's what they were called. <laughs> and all the kids who had records was the Jamaican kids, our mates, because they'd get them sent by the family from, from Yard, from Jamaica. Yeah. Or you'd hit the dog vendor, you'd hit Don Christie's on the Ladyball Road and uh, get white labels, pre releases. And that, that music has took me around the world and taught me how to, how to see the world, how to have empathy, how to have love for people. And I love living in Jamaica for them years. It was beautiful. Wow. We took over. Bob, Bob Marley built a studio up in Bob Port Maria. And then, you know, St. Bob passed on and he left the empty studio. So me and Ali from the band, from UB40, we put all the equipment in. We made dancehall tunes. We made so many tunes there. It was yeah. such a time, and uh, a rock such records, a wonderful right? time. I learned how to be a human, you know, in the, in this world. And wow, and that was it's a long time. Beach. Long uh, time, bright. Forty years, right? Fortieth anniversary this year, right? I know, yeah. And it, you know what? It feels like five minutes since we started. Really, honestly, because you've Are been you really, around the world. It's been a joy. It's been everything has been beautiful. Every night's been a Saturday night for forty years. When you play a gig, it's wow. a Saturday night. It's been beautiful. I've met so many cool people. I'm really? name dropping. I mean, no, I met no. a lot of famous people, you know, you can imagine, right? Yeah, yeah, The well, best of ones are always the coolest. But I've met so many regular Joes, you know, just citizens who work and love music and can dance better than Fred Astaire 
and sing better than Elvis and but they just they carry on like a, a guy and look after their family and work well, in a factory. That's the UB forty yeah. fan base. I think a lot of it in a nutshell, you know. There are exceptions, but your fans, they tapped into you, they're regular working people, uh, and we're there was so something lucky, about yeah. it that it just it, you know, they felt they could relate to, I think. Well, we've always tried not to take ourselves too serious, but take the work serious, you know. And we we live in Birmingham. You know, I mean, we've had lived in, in other places, but we always return to Birmingham. We knock about in, I knock about in the air names and, and places, you know. And First we've, gig. We've, we've, we're, it's just a job that we do. It's, it's a glamorous job, I suppose. But, <laughs> and it has its benefits and, you know, get you a table in a restaurant and, you know, in attention, I suppose. But <laughs> that can wear out. It's all about the notes and the music and the work. And talking of music, I love every genre of music. There's really? a genre of music I don't like. I love the best in everything. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm a picky bugger. Really... You know, I'm picky. Zoom but... as well. You like Zoom, don't you? Fat, yeah. La- Fat Larry's band. Say again. I, 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 I missed that. The, the Zoom track, you know, Fat Larry's band. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But now he just got me when I was a kid, Zoom. Zoom. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> I know it's a, it's a bit of a soft tune. But then I was in Disneyland once. We was on tour, and we got we got to Disneyland to the kids. And I saw Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck dancing to Fat Larry's band live, who were playing in Disneyland <laughs> to Zoom. And all the, all the characters in Disneyland, they're all dancers, all girls, really, who can move well. And you should have seen Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck dancing to that tune. <laughs> it was magical, and they were like incredible dancers. But well, you know what I mean? You've seen some songs. And it's then. just captured my soul, that's all. It's and a lovely I love tune. tune. I love five million tunes, Daniel. Yeah. I bet if you I do. If I had to name them, I couldn't. No. Gilroy Wilson, Run Run. Oh, jeez, I love that. Colin Roach and General Degree, Bury You. Remember that tune? Yeah, yeah, love that. Twist and Shout, me mate. Yeah. Plat- Chuck and Pies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Danger Farmer, George Decker. Ah, I love that. Oh. And the work he's done, Serrano. You know, I could just keep going forever. I love the Beatles. I love Eddie Cochran. Yeah. Something else. That guy's fine looking, man. It's something <laughs> else. You can play wow. that in a dance hall when you're playing rubber dub, and you can drop Eddie Cochran, and everybody carries on dancing. Really? Wow, yeah, oh, that's annoying. When I go out DJing, I, do, I drop things in like that, and people look, <laughs> screw a face, and then start dancing. Beautiful. I might try doing that on next week's show, then Bryce, see how I get on. You have a go- well, you need an audience, but yeah, have a go, man. <laughs> look, music so, doesn't yeah. hurt anyone. No. Stretch yourself, express yourself, man. And 40 you don't years have to illustrate it, just express yourself. Well, this, is, this is it, and it's been, it's been a ride for you, I suppose. And I mean, this year you celebrated the, the band did the 40th anniversary. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it must have yeah. been. It tings- well, you know, I'll, I'll tell you the truth. Six months ago, I had a seizure at home. I never had one before. I don't remember anything about it. It's just blackness to me, nothing. If I'd have been on the road in a hotel, I wouldn't have known any different, carried on. But my wife says you were very ill in the night. So I go to the doctors, the hospital. I have an MRI. It ends up, I've got two tumors in me, not in my canister. <sighs> Four days, five days later, they take them out. I'm not kidding you, now, And send me home the next day. Open me canister. Now, that's not me. No. That's the astonishing, incredible talent and, and, and the industry and the hard work these surgeons and oncologists and nurses and the NHS. These people would be nothing without them. They no. sent me home Brilliant. the next day. And Daniel, I've been in no pain. And I'm not a tough guy. I mean, you know, I'm a little sissy. I'm more better at putting <laughs> mascara on than the gum shirt. Do you know what I mean? I couldn't do that. I couldn't hurt no one. I couldn't hurt a fly's feelings. No. Do you know what I'm saying? No. Yeah. They sent me home the next day. I've had no pain. Really? I've had no fear. I know what my deal is. It's cool. It's, I, I understand. I didn't know I'd feel this way. If you'd have asked me six months ago, what would you say if you were given a verdict, you know, like a prognosis yeah. like you've got? I'd have said I'd be fine. But it turns out I feel liberated and free. I fear nothing at the moment. I, I, no. I just want to do good for the world. I love talking to you. Yeah, I, love, I want to talk you. to your audience out there. And well, we I love you. Know, we, we were all good. If I need an helping hand, if I can do anything, I want to give them my hand. And if yeah. every one of us on this planet, for nine billion of us, got up tomorrow morning and put our hand out and help somebody, we don't have to know them, just give them a helping hand. I don't think there'd be anything on News at 10. No. It'd be, yeah. You know, today everybody was smiling and all the kids got fed. 
I think you're right. And, you know, it, it, we were all worried, though, Bro. you know, when you had to pull from the tour, you know. I, I, I've I know, never known yeah. you not go on tour. I know Norman was unwell about 10 years ago and he missed a tour, but I've never yeah. known you're not there when I've gone to see you. No, right? I know. Well, but, uh, I'm not allowed to fly because that mechanic's the crack time. You, you know what I mean? Yeah, to be yeah, buying yeah, and yeah, of course. So yeah. I can't fly for a couple of years. I'm getting better. I can Good. play. Good. All my music's still in my head. I've been playing to myself at home. I can't do a two-hour gig and no. 14 hours overnight. No. So the thing is, I had this operation, and the next day, we were going on a world tour, 40 sold-out dates in the UK, then we're on a 49-day tour in the States and Canada now, which I couldn't join, and there's European no. dates, and the, it's just a drag, but it's been beautiful having this reflection, I bet, yeah. to step back, you know, after 40 years of, because I, but I'm not on the road with you big 40, you know, I mean, I've got two or three little bands playing. I had one called the Peaky Blinders before the TV show was on. <laughs> Not to be gangsters, because yeah. it was a funny name. Yeah. When the TV show came on, I just stopped it straight away, bumped up. Well, you got the You're not calling you yourself the app, a soprano. Yeah. Well, we all did, you know. Yeah. And all the guys in the band were brilliant players. And we played Rocksteady and Bluebeats, Baba Brooks tunes, Lovely. stuff like that. Honestly, wicked, man. Watermelon Man, you know, old jazz tunes. In, you know, rock steady and uh, blue beat stars and uh, oh, but lovely. anyway, this time off, I know I talk a lot, but you get good value with me. Mate, don't you? Yeah, there's you no must... dead air in this interview. There's no dead air, is I'm there? I'm a painter and sculptor. Yeah, now a guy called sure. Hannes de Hayes, a Belgian sculptor, probably one of the most famous sculptors in Europe, a big time name. He came to me to collaborate. He made these Teletubbies. You know, remember Teletubbies yeah, yeah, the remember. kids used to watch yeah, yeah, yeah. with Donald Trump's face on. And he asked me to collaborate and paint on the TV screens. Well, of course, I haven't. I've sculpted a tidal wave of human souls, spewing out skulls, you know, humans, yeah, yeah. right? That have been consumed to prop up the US dollar. Wow. And uh, George Galloway, who I'm campaigning with, the MP, you oh, know, yeah, yeah, know he's campaigning right. for West Bromwich East seat against Tom Watson, the deputy of the Labour Party, who's pulling the Labour Party to pieces and cutting Jeremy Corbyn to shreds behind his back. It's terrible. George Galloway, the most honourable, hardest working politician I've ever known. Me and him campaigned together. We're going to film the Teletubby thing with this awful kind of hell spilling out of its TV. Yeah. And uh, you'll get to see it, I hope. Cool. But, so I haven't been able to be on the road playing music, which has been hell for me, all my mates. And what's and, going to happen with that? Because you've got the, the Christmas show, bro, coming up. In, there's a Christmas show in Birmingham, like, like we've always well, been look, to. I mean... Don't tell anybody, right? Whatever you do, don't tell anybody, right, especially right, yeah. on the radio. Right, okay, yeah. but of course, I'm going to turn up for you soon. Yes, good I'm going to get a cab and I'm going to come on and play a couple of numbers. God. you got to, haven't you? you got to. I've got them in, mate. I just can't fly. And I can't do two hours on stage. No. And an American tour, 12 hours each night, overnight, eight, nine hours. No, and it's still rumbling much. in the bus, you know, and my head won't. No. Won't heal up. No. I'll be super gluing my canister together before the gigs. Yeah, yeah, yeah we can't be having that. We we love you and we want you there, but we want it, we want you know good mileage out of you, mate. So don't <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't, don't, well, don't yeah. rush it. And the thing is, I'm on chemo as well, and it's oh. impossible to do in the world. No. Do you, you get what I'm saying? You do so, what you can do. But right. I'm all you right. Do do. You can tell from where I'm talking. Guys, yeah. I'm all right. I can't Everything's tell. Okay. I'm yeah. a, a, I'm I'm bursting with ambition to just. Do nice stuff, you know, just help people. And just, I've been awarded, oh, by the way, Global Gift Company is the biggest charity in the world. Yeah. Melanie Griffiths, Antonio Banderas, Eva Longoria, the Beckhams, oh, the list goes on. Yeah. I, I mean, it's all new to me, all this stuff. They're awarding me the Humanitarian Award of the Year in November. Wow. Well, and I'm kind so of well. a, it was all on Facebook the last couple of days, and I'm a bit humbled. I don't, I don't know what to say because. You know, I was a juvenile delinquent. And, yeah, yeah, you were and a naughty boy back in the day. Time yeah. To time and, <laughs> yeah, well, but, um, you were, so much love in this world, you know, there, is, there really is, mate. And, and I'm really glad you're doing all right. And you, you sound like you're I winning, bro. You sound like you're winning, and I'm really pleased to hear that as a lifelong. Look, none of us are going to live forever, bro. No, we have to face no. up to. We all have to face up to this. It's okay, but the time you have is valuable. And, so let me ask and you I've this: had, then. I've been the most privileged man on this planet. Well, you've John Cooper Clark, the poet, sent me a book, The Luckiest Guy Alive, when I was sick. Well, and I am. You are, you've dodged a bullet there, mate, you know, and uh, we're honoured, we're honoured, and we're, we're really glad that you're fighting fit. I've got to ask you though, mate, I've got to ask you, because you said what? I can ask you anything, right? Um, 10 years, or it's been just over 10 years since one of the biggest breakups, if you want to call it that, in a group, 
when Ali yeah. left, and Ali left and, and did his thing. I know. How, he was my best mate in high school. Uh, how do you best feel? when I got married. Ten years on. knocked about every night. But, you know, life changes. Yeah. And, and, you know, he, he had to move on for him, I suppose. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. working yeah. with your brothers and your family can be difficult, if you can imagine that. And yeah. that's and yeah. it was very close knit, you know. We all went, we known each other fifty years. We went to school together. Yeah. The band, the band, forty years. You know. Yeah, it's tough. Yeah. And you live out of each other's pockets, and you get you get closer than you do with family, really. Because when you become an adult, you kind of brothers and sisters have their lives, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. And this true. is kind of one where you live on a tour bus, so many hours, everything you do together, and. You can say anything that you need to say and be honest, and yeah. it's obvious he, he needed to move on, and uh, and he's not here to defend himself, so I wouldn't give him a bad time. I'm a coward, you know. No, 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 so, that's, uh, uh, that's fair enough. I, I wish him all the luck in the world. Good on you. And I would say, I have to say, and I'm not just saying it because it's you on. Yeah, Duncan, of Duncan's never sounded better. Duncan Campbell, he's, he's never sounded sing, better. No. He thinks he, he thinks he knows you all because he's only been doing it a few years. <laughs> I was at the rehearsal show. Become an overnight success. Uh, well, Fifteen years. Yeah. We all know that. That's right. You know, and I'm I'm, t- I'm playing with him. I'm pulling his leg, pulling your leg. <laughs> yeah. He's great. He's, he's a great. Good, he's a good. He's, a, he's an intellectual, Duncan, and uh, he works hard. And he, uh, he, do, he doesn't take himself seriously. No. But he takes the work seriously. And it's a lot to learn. It is. I remember joining that, yeah. a band after they've been together for what thirty years. Yeah. Yeah. We even, we can talk to each other by looks yeah. and hand signals and grunts. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can. I can imagine <laughs> really? that. Or, or, it's just a, a look can tell you a, a, a paragraph of uh, complaint. Yeah, well, it must have been <laughs> tough. You know, compliment. Coming in. It must have been hard work. I, rem- I remember coming oh, to that. very the... hard. Very difficult for him to walk into his, his brother's yeah. shoes as well as he being his brother. Yeah. But his brother gave him a blessing, you know. And he's changed his mind a little bit. Yeah, but he's yeah. not here to defend himself, no, so we lose my life. And if you can good. ever get us both on an interview at the same time, yeah. don't ask me to sort it. I'll be here. You've got my numbers. Yeah. I'll do. All right. I'd I'll love to talk that. to me, old pal. I'll hold you to that, mate. I'll hold you to that. I'd um, lo- if you could make that happen, yeah. but put, it, put it across. See, would you like to do it? No, no, I'd fight. Just catch up with your old pal. Yeah. Oh, look, a mate, professional interview. You know, I'd love that, man. I'm taking that I'd as approval from you. Since you left. Yeah, no, well, I'll take that as approval from you that you're on board if I can get it, make it happen, mate. Wouldn't that be lovely? Absolutely. And what great radio. Notice, you know, I have 65 gazillion appointments a week at the moment. Yeah, I bet. I know, I've noticed trying I'm to painting, get painting, yeah. sculpting, campaigning with George Galloway, my hero. He's at Shea Guevara. Shea Galloway, we call him. <laughs> I'm serious, though. He's fearless, tenacious, the, uh, and the most honest politician, him and Jeremy Corbyn. Yeah. My, it sounds like I'm campaigning, admittedly. Yeah. But they are. I wouldn't say this if I didn't mean it. No, you're an honest man. I'm 60 okay. years old. I wouldn't tell a lie. People will come up to me and, and say you're a liar, but I'm not. No. They're the most honest, sincere politicians I've ever, ever had the privilege of, of, of sitting and talking with. Fair and I believe in them. And they, they believe in us. I believe in working people. No matter what your God is, who your God is, what colour you are, what language you speak, where you hail from. You're still valuable. You're a human being. And yeah. uh, they've sold me, and I, God, man. That's the way it ought to be, mate. That's the way it ought to be. Well, listen, mate, I've got to ask you, before I let you go and play some more reggae, I've got to ask you, cool, are, man. are we going to get some, now you've got the new it's album. It's been a pleasure, mate. a privilege, and a joy talking to you. And I hope, I hope we, we've resonated with your audience. Maybe they'll call in and tell you. Well, they will. He I'm was sure rubbish. they'll let me know. Or he was just sounding like he was drunk. I'm not. No, no, we know. No, you, everybody <laughs> that listens to this show knows who you are, It's mate. been lovely talking to you, Daniel, and your, your, and your audience out there. Thanks, guys, if, you, if you're still listening. <laughs> if I haven't chewed your ears off. No, <laughs> mate, there was no dead air, was it? No, there was no dead air. You couldn't get a Yeah, word that's the secret to Radio 1. You keep, keep, keep going. You keep going. Now, I'd, mate, do you think we'll get more music now? Now you've got For The Many out, and I know you've got a, a, like a, a bag of then there's a album collaborations team. album, which yeah. I'm telling you, is better than For The Many. It's got Black Hero, it's got so many jo- young Jamaican dance on. I-, I can't give it away yet. No. It's a better album. And there's a dub album, it's better, and they're all yes. mixed by my son, by the way, James Jay Travers. Travers, James Travers, yeah, Travers. Yeah, yeah. Jay, he's, a, he's wicked in the studio. It sounds oh, great. It I, sounds I, great I'm just not, I, I love playing, but mixing. Oh, so is, 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 is there more, more on the cards? Have you, is there, do you think you'll do more material soon? Because we used to get an album a year off you guys, and it's been a bit yeah, quiet. No, what do you I, think? I, well, you know, the music business has changed oh, a great yeah, deal. Yeah, I know. It's not as simple as just releasing anymore. No, no. And, you know, we've got people working with us who have their own ideas of how it works. Of course, we've only been doing it 40 years. You so, know, and, um, so you're still learning, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, what do we know about the business? <laughs> you know, it's those young uns that know everything. Yeah, 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 it's <laughs> and you do, yeah. you do. It's young, what would the music business do with that teenagers? I mean, that young people. Yeah, working all the gizmos and the gadgets, making it work, eh? Not just that, but when you're 17 and you're in a fantastic band, brilliant. When you're 60 and you're in a fantastic band, still all right, but you're supposed to be good when you're 60. Yeah. You've been doing it all your life. Yeah. And that real fizz is when you're a kid. And then what would we do with that young guys playing, yeah. girls playing in short? Like you oh, used to be, it. like you were back in the day, mate. Like you were. Daniel, you said you had to go. <laughs> yeah, right, yes, yeah, so I'm going to go. I'm going to go. You took me on. Yeah, sorry, mate. I love sorry. talking to you. I <laughs> yeah. love your show. And uh, thank good you. luck, my brother. Break a leg. And thank thanks you. for the honour of being on your show. No, talk thank you, you bro. Yeah, take care, mate, and come back soon, yeah? Lots of love. Send me a link so I can hear this back and be ashamed of, the, of how much I've spoken. No worries, mate. <laughs> it's back on at nine o'clock tomorrow morning, so I'll send you the link, all right? Thanks very so much. See what you can do now, Dan. Yeah. You can go into that, cut it, and ask me the questions where I'm jumping to subjects. Yeah, yeah, I could, yeah, yeah, I could do that. And that's I mean. why I do it this way. I'll give you a war and piece of information. <laughs> in, and I've just got to slow look, it down now. In 25 in 20 minutes, minutes I, I can, promise you, you've got, you can make an hour show out of that. That's right. Just got to slow it down, mate. Slow it down. Insert your questions in. Yeah, yeah slow it down. Put Add it, some uh, subtitles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. I'd love to hear it, but nine in the morning, now I'm in on the came up. Don't yeah. worry, I'll send you a link for you can play it any time you want, bro. Thanks Lovely. ever so much, pal. Got to go. We're mates now, right? Yeah, we Anything are, mate. Anything I can do for you, I can help you with. I can often get people on the phone, you know. Yeah. Yeah, well, we'll I, see used the, we... I used the UB40 badge well, bet you know you can. well let's see if we can get you and Ali on that would be radio to listen to well, you never know, well, never say never hey. it's never been attempted no one's ever suggested it it just came up with me conversation with you yeah, exactly. it's a your show I've got broad shoulders mate, let's see what we can do absolutely, you know. I can hear that you have I've just, I've just auditioned you I've just seen <laughs> what kind of interview I radio I man you are. You're you let your guest <laughs> Talk nonsense <laughs> endlessly. Well, but if it weren't going to be you, it was going to be me. So thanks, Bri. Love you lots, mate. Thanks ever so much. Go, Daniel. See you, bro. Take care. Cheers now. Bye bye now. Take a leg, my brother. Cheers, man. Bye bye bye. What an absolute legend he is. Can you believe it? And if you understood any of it, then uh, all the better. Nice one, Bright. Love you to bits. <laughs>